Welcome back. In the last video, we talked about using Tor browser to anonymize our traffic on the internet. Right now, let's take a look at how we can use something called proxy to redirect our Nmap scans through a third party in order to mask our original physical address and IP address to the target that we are scanning. So, in order to do that, what you want to do is you want to start your terminal first. And the first thing that we want to redo, in case you haven't done it in the previous lecture, is to run sudo apt-get install tor. It will ask you for your password, and once you type the password in, it will install the tor service for you. In case you have already done this, in the previous lecture, the next command that we want to do is we want to actually start the Tor service. And we can do it with the help of this command right here. Service Tor start. Press enter. And you won't get any output back for this command. It will only ask for password, which we have to type in, and the Tor service will be started. We can check it by typing service tor status and it will say that the status is active. Next thing we want to do is we want to install proxy chains which is a tool that will allow us to filter our traffic through a proxy and in this specific video we're going to filter it using the tor service so our IP address will change with the help of tor service. To install proxy chains, you run this command, sudo apt-get install proxy chains. For me, I have already installed proxy chains. For you, it might take a minute or two to finish. And as soon as it's done, we want to navigate to its configuration file to set an option or two. To do that, we want to type sudo nano at c slash proxychains.conf which is short for configuration. It will open this file and the settings that you want to have are these ones. You want to hash the strict chain or comment it out and you want to enable the dynamic chain. Down here, we also want to add SOX5 support, which will be filtered through the local host on port 9050. Even here it says defaults set to Tor. We have SOX4 on localhost 9050 and SOX5 on localhost 9050. Once you have all of these options set, you want to save the configuration file, exit the configuration file, and just small quick tip, make sure you use sudo once changing the configuration file because otherwise it will not work you won't have the permission to change this configuration file if you didn't use sudo. Now, to make sure all of it works, let's try to run proxy chains and then let's, for example, open Firefox. If this works, then we should have a stable internet connection, which will be a little bit slower in Firefox, and also our IP address should change. Pretty much the same thing that we did with Tor, but right now it should also do it in Firefox. Let's first of all try to access google.com, just to see whether we can load it. And you notice it does take some time to finish. And next thing we want to do is type, what is my IP? We just want to make sure that we successfully masked our IP address. So currently, we have this IP address. You can already see that my results are given in different language, which is always a good sign. And if I go on whatismyip.com, we should see where exactly is this IP address located. Here it is. This is the location of the IP. And we successfully changed our IP address so it will appear like this to any website that we visit. Now that we confirmed that this works, we can close Firefox, 
which will automatically close this command and give us our terminal back. And now to run the nmap scan, all you have to do is simply type proxy chains and then nmap. And for example, let's go with nmap.org. We want to scan it. Let's use dash f command. We already know what it does. And the scan will run. Now, one thing about this is that the scans will run much slower than without proxy chains, which is also normal. Same way our traffic is slower when we go on Firefox and when we go on Tor browser, the same reason is behind the slow nmap scan. As you can see, it already scanned a couple of ports. It found the port 80 to be open. For port 139, we got socket error or timeout, and it will do this for each and every port. And nmap.org won't really know where our traffic is coming from. Nonetheless, we got all of this to work well. We also found port 22 to be open, which is, I believe, correct result. And that is pretty much it. It's as simple as that. Now you can combine different options with the nmap scan, all of those options that we already covered, feel free to use them. Now, nmap.org is allowed to be scanned, but don't scan it multiple times. They say it on their website that you shouldn't spam scans on their website. You can scan it once or twice. That would be about it for this video. This is how we can combine proxy, Tor servers, and our nmap scan the same way we would combine this proxy chains with other tools as well that support it. Nonetheless, thank you for watching this video and in the next video we're going to take a look at how we can run VPN inside of Kali Linux. See you in the next lecture.